Like, look at my hips hit the wall and the table. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's a creeper in the window who's trying to watch a Heidi go potty. <laughs> yeah. Getting Lynn primed up to go yeah. make a purchase over here. We need one of these in the, oh, in the race. About Just the take that one. Okay. You got a screwdriver on you? <laughs> Find our new trailer. Yeah. Oh, they're stealing our server idea. We're at the Columbus RV show. Haven't been here in a couple of years. It's a cold one too today. Yeah. We're heading into the Bricker building. It's RVs and boats. Oh yes, our boats. Do not plan on getting one of those though. Although across the street, there's a hot tub convention going on. And a train show. And a train show. Oh, <laughs> They've got it all down here in Columbus. I guess we had to go around that way to get yeah, in we didn't. we didn't follow the rules. No, Imagine we did that. not. Imagine that. It's pretty busy here already for just being opening time. And it's spread out over three buildings. Yeah. And we're in the second building. Yeah, we're in really, Bricker. We skipped one right to the middle. Palomino HS750 truck camper. What bath, but it's a little little camper. Half ton truck required. Oh no. That's it. Five foot <laughs> six or longer bed. It's a 2023. Man, it's pretty tight, tight, tight in here. You gotta I mean, my hips are hitting the table. Here, so like, look at my hips hit the wall and the table. <laughs> yeah. So if you're any wider than me, you ain't gonna fit with this table here. Need more clearance. Yeah. Walk by this Zinger light. It has a unique front living, so we wanted to check it out. It's a 259 FL. It says it's got 200 watt solar on the roof. So this is completely unique, especially for a Zinger. Zingers are more than likely bunk houses for families. This is a, a much different layout than I've seen. For a travel trailer, it really is. I mean, this, this is a 2022 Zinger light. Okay. 29 feet, 11 inches. And the couch so faces the front wall. It's really not that much longer. It would be a TV here, but. Right. But I mean, that's actually a pretty cozy living space. I like that. And there's a lot of countertop. This bar with the bar stools is different. Tiny little, tiny little oven, but you got one. And? The 12 volt fridge? Yeah, I think so, but I can't, oh, there we go. Yep, 12 volt fridge. Yeah, sure is. A pantry. Big. Yeah, that's actually really accessible too. And then what I like, a walk-through bath. Pass-through bathroom is one of Mike's faves. Now, could you stand in there? I'm sure I There's could. There's really not a big bubble up there. Oh, no, I had, I had my boots on and my hat, so I'm gonna lose an inch or two. May, yeah, but still, that's yeah. pretty tight. Yeah, it's pretty tight. But it's not bad if you have both these doors shut. You got plenty of space. Yeah. And then here, you got a windows for cross ventilation. Then there's a the back back window not bad and you know what there's no slides oh, there's not there's no slides oh my gosh but yeah there's plenty of yeah room. i don't feel like it's uh closing me in so i hate slides i do not like them but, but it's a love hate we, thing we kind of have to have them because well who makes a super c without slides good question overall i like this floor plan it's a nice it's a different floor plan for a couple's coach all right find our new trailer yeah <sighs> Oh, okay, so just, just enough room for you. Mike will not be able to fit in here. No, I would not. I would not have a good time. This is not a good time, but, but it's a like better than a tent. I spy Fitch. Look at them boots. <laughs> That's how you shower in this thing. <laughs> shower in comfort. <laughs> you know, people Great. always told me that the Airstream showers were bad. This not only is this a shower, but it's a wet bath. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's, that's. You're gonna have to hold a shower outside. You're gonna come out with back problems and hunchback. And... If I sit sideways, I can probably poop in here. And then you're gonna hit your head coming out. Oh my God. I can't even. I can't even get out normal. If you're little, you can do it. Yeah, you gotta be. You gotta be children. 
Oh, there's a creeper in the window who's trying to watch a Heidi go potty. <laughs> yeah, I tried. <laughs> I missed my window of opportunity. <laughs> oh my God. We're, we're terrible. I'm surprised we have friends at all. <laughs> it's Camp 20. Yeah, it's Base Camp X. So it's way bigger than the base camps I remember seeing, so it must be a new floor plan type deal. Yeah, it's not the base camp that I was familiar with, that's for sure. Yeah, it's definitely got more headroom. Uh, of course, you have to stay to this end. The further you get towards the bed, couch, dinette area, it's smaller. But there's, it's got the window, or the door. Yeah, the hatch. That's cool. Yeah. And wet bath. Okay, wet bath. Still better than that barefoot we were just in. Let's see, I don't, I'm trying to figure out, it's an At Airstream Atlas, but I don't know what model it is. Oh, they're stealing our server idea. Because the TV comes out of there, yeah. I mean, it looks cozy, is it comfortable? It looks comfortable. Airstream d usually does have pretty good comfort. This is a, I like, really, really like the lighting in the bathroom, like in the shower oh, yeah, area. That's the cool. lighting is really nice. It's totally Airstream. Very nice. Actually, this bathroom is pretty large. I like this. This is Ooh. recording. Yeah. I'm this is not Airstream. That's not Airstream quality. quality at all. I'm very surprised by that. Yeah. Tisk, tisk. Is this what Airstream's coming to? This is sad. And it's a Murphy bed. Oh, yeah, it's beautiful. That thing, a Murphy bed. That's cool. I like that. Got a nice, uh, nice design there. It's the, actually uh, one of the more enjoyable Airstream Class Bs. I would really like the lighting in here. It's. I feel like it's on the your dimmer. bed. That's why I just said it's a Murphy bed. I wasn't paying attention. Typical man. Yeah. Not listening. You're getting Lynn primed up to go yeah. make a purchase over here. This one's a Valencia. As low as 1,878 per month though, guys. That's I mean, probably with like 40% down. My feet really don't even touch the ground. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that's crazy. You're How's a tall that? man. So yeah. the dinette is. My feet don't even touch uh, it's the It's not bad. Butter? Yeah. Lynn will never touch the ground. <laughs> 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 and I'm 5'7". It's not like I'm a, a short. Imagine a five foot person. It'd be like this. It's got a washer and dryer right here. So that's nice. It's a, definitely a king size bed. It's very long. It feels very bland. I don't like saying that. I really don't. I mean, we have a Nexus Wraith. I would expect more from Renegade. Everyone preaches Renegade's like the best. But I don't know. Everything looks nice. It just feels a little bland. It's not jumping out at me. It's not. I'm not unimpressed, but I'm definitely not impressed. After the price. Tag. No. Like, oh my God, okay, I'm gonna buy it. <laughs> then it's different, yeah. Knock a hundred grand off. Not hundred grand, but I don't think. I just, yeah. I don't, I'm not seeing the value, to be honest with you. Agree. Nice shower. Closet space. TV, king bed with a headrest. It's got the stackable washer dryer. I really like these floors though. These will hide some dirt, let me tell you. Mm -hmm. The, these open up too. Yeah, 
It's like a, another place for your beer if you don't want to use this. <laughs> just, just kidding, actually. Pretty nice, though. Yeah, it's a completely enclosed garage in this one. This is 140. Grand Design Momentum 376 THS. Look at how awesome the stove is, though. It's got oh, the yeah. four burners. It's got a 20,000 pound. So this would raise up, so if you when had you have something tall in the garage, something with a tall roof, or like yeah. a golf cart or side by side. Yep. Uh, so you get the benefits of a full fifth wheel without having to use your garage as a living space. Yeah. And like Mike said, the fumes don't. Right. Reach. Having a separate garage, the gas fumes and stuff don't get into your camper. Look at this shower head. Oh yeah. It, it comes at you. It comes at you. From all the different levels. Oh right? man, this is a nice shower. We need one of these in the, uh, in the we race. About Just take that one. Okay. You got a screwdriver on you? <laughs> <laughs> this ain't bad for a travel trailer. Oh, this reclines. Those chairs actually look really nice. They're not bad. It's actually quite a bit of countertop space and Things like that, which usually these travel trailer toy haulers lack. Like it's got, got a this. terrible Furion stove. On there. Yeah. With those stupid blue lights. Who likes those? I hate it. Push the button. Bye. Bye. The subwoofer up there? Sure looks like it. And there's the real weekend warriors. Looks like they're gonna buy something. Making a deal. We caught you in the act. We caught you in the act. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. <laughs> you only live once. <laughs> it, it, he says it's for this one. Let's look. So now it. we gotta look at it. Yeah. Sport truck Venture RV. It's a 343 Vic. Maybe that's why. No, it's VIK, but oh, still. Vic. But for 63. Yep. Like the table and chairs. Oh yeah. I do oh. like that wood backsplash, I guess you say. How much was this one? 63. Oh, 63. I like where the TV's at though. Yeah, it's, it's like, got a little fireplace. Out of all the campers we had, we've only had like what the Jayco that had the TV right across from us. Okay, so this right here is what I want this because it's a couch, but it's also oh, recliners. Yeah. This is this is it. This is well, what I want. Well, we can do that. We can make it happen. Because it has the benefits of both, you know. You've got the recliners, but then you also have straight across couch. What this pull down? Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Yep. So it, it does both. I do like this big mirror though. I do like that. Very nice. And the sink is much bigger so you can actually use it to wash your hands and wash your face without getting water all over the place, which is what happens currently. Just need a little wider sink, so I do like that. Power pad, and it looks like it has a king 
bad. This, is, this isn't too bad. <laughs> I do like this little note, gives you a little reading space. I bet you the dogs would really like this though. Here, oh, just a big cabinet or a closet with washer dryer prep. Yeah, I do like this. Yeah, I like that little nooky thing. The dogs would probably like it to look, especially to look out the window. We got a fireplace in here. That is nice. I do like the fireplace in the, in yeah, the bedroom I like too. I like that and I love that. Wow. It's big storage under there. This thing is a massive amount of storage. It does. It has lots of storage. Well, did you see how much storage is above the TV? No. Yeah, you can definitely put all kinds of stuff in there. Yeah. Oh, it's deep. Yeah. And there's no no separation. Now that can be good or bad, but you can put bins. Like I use a lot of bins in ours to keep things in place, basically. 12 volt. Okay, that's good then. Yeah. That's nice. So automotive exterior, residential interior. Um, really trying to change our ownership experience. You like the square sink it's plastic but at least you have you know space to wash your face Inside, you're not going to see any silicone or anything so we seal it from the bare bones differently than every other manufacturer you're not going to see a bunch of lap seal and things like that so we want to keep it really clean and automotive sprayed on the outside those don't because we have those people that open up and they bring the slide in and break them all the time you could just have a slider there. Good. So in our bedroom one, we do have the slider ones. Because it's nice for cross ventilation, especially. Sure. Not gonna charge. Oh dang. Um, typically, where you put your trash, you want to grab in a lot side or wherever I don't know. But in a mid-size, they have two pull-out trash bins. I do like that. And then we take this. Comes out. Oh okay. That's nice too. And, uh, towel holder. In the bathroom, we have a magnetized toilet paper holder that is up against the wall. Here we got an integrated spice rack. Okay. And we got a silverware drawer. Oh, right in the table. And then this here, awesome with storage, it's not anchored down or anything. Um, but then you can put it back there if you want, and then raise this up. It creates like a little workstation. Oh, that's nice. That's good. Super. Yeah. Screen comes up, the blackout sheet from the top. So steel island base versus the wood island bases, and that allows us to have a true flush floor slide on both sides. Typically, on the galley, we have like a one inch toe cake over there. And then, along with that, so if you have pets or anything, or babies, these uh, pet dishes that we pull out. Yeah, we do have pets. Looks cozy. It is. It's nice. Water and stain resistant. So small things we do, we only have a two inch apron on the shower versus some that have a four, they have it sunken, so creates a trip hazard. A ton of linen closet space, three hooks, and then there's the magnetized toilet paper. I do like the shower shell, how oh, it's a single piece. Yes. That's what I want. I want a single piece so bad in ours. Okay, so it has like actual little curtains. I like that. That's cute. Yeah. Yeah, that is cute. And the little shelf up Yeah. And then see, watch, the shelf gets bigger too, watch it. So typically this right here is a flip up. But it's kind of dumb. You have to take everything off if you want to get into it. So we made it slide. Okay. That way it's always accessible. And then this right here is the shelf extenders. And a magnet on it there. You can just pop it right up here like this. Put like a CPAP on there or whatever. Oh, so like it's your, that's your nightstand then, basically. Yeah. Okay. So king standard, but you can do a queen. You'll gain five inches on each side, and then you get the little nightstand. It'd be nice to have a king, but it yeah. feels like a, it's actually a decent mattress. It in actually here. is really good. So what's under so, it? It's a ten-inch memory foam. Underneath is you're gonna have storage. Okay, that's a lot of storage. And you have uh, motion sensor light on each side, you have outlet on each side. Yeah. And then you have the fully stackable washer dryer in a mid size fifth wood, you're not really getting that. And also our interior ceiling height is 79 and a half inches. That's taller than like what that alliance up there is or any full profile fifth wood, they're only 78. So we need a little bit higher on that. Yeah, usually you see the cheapest mattress you can find. Yeah. Right. So these lights are dimmable too. We have brass fittings instead of, instead of plastic fittings on all of our plumbing. You have shut off valves at every water source. Um, we're going to have electric dump valves as well, as opposed to those gate valves, those pull ones. How much fresh water? 75. 
Okay. And then we have a true 90. So that's something else we do unique. So everybody else have split gray tanks. One yeah. always fills up passion. Exactly. So we have a 90, we plumb it together. So we're going to have a 370 watt panel on the roof that comes standard. Um, that's going to run the 12 volt refrigerator, charge batteries, all that good stuff. You can add an additional 370 watt panel if you want uh, without changing the wiring. Uh, it's prepped for a 3,000 watt inverter. So if you got a 3,000 watt inverter, every outlet in the coach should be live, including the microwave. Uh, we also have um, a 5,500 watt generator can fit up front. We already wired everything for it. Yes, yeah, look at the outside. Yeah, let's look at the compartments and stuff. <sighs> That's huge. That is quite large, yeah. Access panel, easy, easy access panel. Oh, it's got lights under there. It lights on the bottom of the slide because here's your wet bay. Oh, look, I can get right under there. Yeah. There's the storage. This is at the rear. It's got some rear storage. It's a turbo diesel. 30 grand. This is our new off road vehicle, maybe? Yeah, that's what I wanted for. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Take this instead of my Jeep. It's yeah. all weather model. It's got air conditioning and heat. Oh, wow. Oh, man. That's more than I want. Yeah. <laughs> and we offer the short term nerve shattering payments or the long term back break. <laughs> From uh, what company? We are with Specialty Outdoor and RV in London, Ohio. Okay. The OK Marco, huh. largest indoor showroom in Ohio, 100,000 square feet on the roof. I don't think we've ever been to that one. Well, you need to come test drive one of these around a lot. I have 30 it's acres over. there. We have 30 acres there, so you can drive one around a lot. Oh, yeah? You can do what I do. I, dr I drive it over the curb and go to Burger King, and I get the stink out. <laughs> the, the decal? Is yeah, just inside that grab handle. Words to live by. Don't do anything <laughs> stupid. Read the operator's guide. Right yeah. up your alley. <laughs> I think I need one. It's kind of, I like the look of it. It's crazy. Yeah. Any color you want, as long as it's red or black. <laughs> this thing weighs 3,035 pounds and it tows 3,500. Can you flat tow it behind the motorhome? Yes, you can. And they say up to 55 miles an hour. We are yeah. go a bit faster than that. Right. We are back in the Jeep. Mike gave me like three warnings for food, so we got to get out of here. Getting hangry. But it was a very good show. I thought it was actually pretty enjoyable besides walking between the buildings, which is kind of unique to this show. Yeah, when you got three buildings and lots of people, you're going to be... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we always suggest going to the furthest one away first. Yeah. Just start there. Yeah. Saw a lot of good stuff. Um, met, ran into a handful of subscribers. Yeah. So thanks to everyone who said hello and a couple of people were like, hey, maybe we'll be in your video. I'm like, maybe. <laughs> Gotta watch and see. Yeah, we'll see. Mike fell in love with that little Jeep side-by-side -side mesh thing. <laughs> yeah. It's not a Jeep. It's no. a Mahindra. Yeah. But it's like, it looks like a Jeep in a side-by-side -side had a baby. Right. It's a uh, 62 horsepower of fury. Yeah. So. All it's... right. Let's go get food. All right. See ya. What do you think, Piper? Does thick. it look pretty thick? Thick, thick with two C's. Ooh, baby.